Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me going crazy on shopping. It's that time of year again where it's sale season, it's fall. <sighs> I love outerwear, it's cold, I have an excuse to shop again, so today's video is going to be a haul, but like a massive haul. I've been shopping quite a bit, I realized I have not been doing hauls, so I owe you one. This is everything I've bought in the past month that I have been loving. I justify it at this time of year because of the weather. It's outerwear season, I love outerwear, it's my thing. Aside from handbags, outerwear might be my only other obsession, so <laughs> sweaters too and I love jeans Ugh, this is gonna be a fun haul so I was looking at my analytics again and I'm down to like 40% of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel so make sure to hit that subscribe button to help me grow cuz I've been on YouTube for a minute and I feel like it's time to like get up there first off this sweater I'm wearing it so I had to start with it I'm realizing now with the lights I'm giving a little bit more cleavage than I thought I was going to it is by Sage the label. It's kind of cropped. It's kind of fluffy, but not the fluffy that itches and not the fluffy that gets stuck in your contact lenses. That just like warm and fuzzy winter sweater type of fluffy. It goes from like beige to cream to beige again. Where it sits is perfect. It's just so cozy. I had to start with that one. I'm going to make sure to link everything down below for you guys. A lot of things already have uh, discounts from Black Friday and some of the stuff that I bought stuff with, I work with the brand, so they gave me promo codes to share with you guys. Secondly, can we also talk about the fact that, that I launched part four of my ANSI collaboration. I am obsessed with this. Basically, the whole idea of this capsule is that everything was gonna be interchangeable. Everything is meant to be worn together, to be bought as separates. Everything is sold as singles. We are doing yellow gold, white gold with diamonds. Usually we only do yellow gold, so I'm kind of obsessed with the fact that we are doing white gold. My favorite pieces from the collection have to be the double huggy, which I wear as a first and the snake one, which I wear up here. I'm really, really excited about this drop. Here's a close-up of my left ear, and here is my right. I'm a big fan of that like oversized vest. Last year I did a puffer, but this year I was like, let's get this elevated. Very into winter whites this season. This one is by, who is this by? This one is by Urban Code London and I just fell in love with it. I didn't actually know the brand, but it's this faux suede, faux shirling. It is reversible, which is what I feel like sold me the most on this piece, but then like when I brought it home, I was like, okay, it's reversible, yay, but like really in reality, I'm obsessed with it on this side with like the faux leather and the faux shirling. It looks so good. Let me just flip it over so you guys can see what it looks like on the other side which is also super chic, but I am just very into that Oh my, no, this still looks really good. I lied, I don't know why, no, this is gorgeous. And the weight on it, like it feels so nice. It's so warm. I haven't even had a chance to wear it out yet because it's actually been too warm in Montreal to wear. I even figured for like really, really cold months, throw this on over like a wool coat, my oversized H&M coat that I've been wearing for like seven years at this point. Oh, this is so chic. Okay, but wait, I wanna put it back on the other side because I really, 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 really like it. I don't know, I put this on and I got it thinking like, okay, it's this or another one and I ended up keeping both. Now this is she is the moment, she is the vibe, she's everything right now with her oversized jeans. We love her. We are into this. Oh, but wait, let me pair it back to this. Okay, I'm gonna pair it back to this because this, I also have not shown. I realized I got this vintage bag when I was like in the midst of like selling bags to get my Birkin and I realized I never actually showed you guys this bag, which I'm doing a handbag collection video for this week on Friday, so you guys are gonna end up seeing it in the handbag collection video anyways, but like, hi. This looks so good together. Like, come on, this looks so good. Who am I? I'm like this chic Chanel mama with this like oversized, no, she's good. Okay, boom. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is the look. Like, even with the sweater, the vest, the Chanel, I can't stop looking at the viewfinder. It looks so good. It looks so, so good. And I'm wearing these, like, baggy acne jeans. This is the look. But wait, I have to show you. When I got this vest, it was either this coat or this vest. Now, I think once I put on this coat, you will understand why I just decided to do both because I don't think anybody in their right mind could actually pick one. I grow map at this as these being such different pieces and such versatile pieces that I'd be able to wear this so many times. So now wait until you see this one. Okay, then there's this one because I was like, I need to look cute when it's super cold outside. This one has the cool factor, but it also has the bomber underneath that's going to be super warm. It's like really, really, really like a plush warm down. I love that it's like this like purple faux shirling lined. I love that it has this giant collar. I love that it's like cropped over here. Ugh. It's like a vest meets a puffer meets the coolest coat you've ever seen in your life. Seriously though, would you have been able to pick if you could? Vest or coat or both? What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. I don't know. I am a weak-minded individual apparently because when I put this on, I was like, you are not going anywhere. You are staying in my closet. It has these like bungee cords that you can like tighten at the bottom. It's the most epic casual coat I've ever owned in my life. The color on this is also so unexpected with the purple lining, the light gray trim, the black vest, the gray coat. Like it's like a mix and match of like the coolest things you've ever seen in your life. Yes, please. And like the purple lining. Essentially the coolest piece of clothing I think I own. I also went to go check out the Black Suede Studio pop-up and I bought a few shoes that I did not need at all because as you guys know, Based on my outerwear pics, it's cold in Montreal, but these shoes were too cute to care. So I told my boyfriend, I was like, we need to go out on a date so that I can wear these before it snows. He agreed because he said, yes, you need to wear these shoes out before you can't because they're so cute. So not only did I get these super cute Black Suede Studio Fuchsia Diamante bow shoes that I was obsessed with, I also got a date out of it. I'm totally kidding. He would have taken me out on a date even though I didn't have the shoes. But these are super cute and an added bonus because I was being impractical I just feel like I could justify these because these were samples and I got them at a really good price They're these like lilac patent leather shoe with These like patent leather fuchsia little wraparounds with the I keep I want to say lurex, but it's not lurex. It's like the see-through plastic, which I'm forgetting the word right now um, But I got these also which I will not be wearing now But I am going on vacation in January So I will be bringing these to the beach with me and I love these also black suede studio also picked up during that sale Since we're speaking cute accessories. I thought we could go alongside with my handbags that I borrowed for the week from Coup Deluxe. Coup Deluxe is a handbag rental company. I work with them on Instagram. We do some collaborations here and there. And in return, they let me borrow their bags so I can create some content, which is always amazing. So I figured since I'm getting bags that I don't actually have in my collection, might as well pull them out here and do a little review and first impression on them because I have a little pile here that I think you guys would like. First one I borrowed for the week is this beautiful, I don't even love the Chanel 19, but I love this Chanel 19. I've always said, a lot of people have asked me like, what do you think of the Chanel 19? And I've always been like, eh, I don't know. I find it's trendy. It's giving me boy bag vibes, uh, but this one's really cute. It's heavy, but it's so cute. But honestly, this would be reason enough to convince me. Had I seen this bag in a video or in person, I mean, I'm sure there definitely are videos of this bag. I've just never searched Chanel 19 because I'm not a fan of the bag. I'm very happy I have this bag for the week. So it's this like light pink leather. I love that the hardware is gold and silver. I love the size of it. I did not think I would be a huge fan of the Chanel the way that it is with the leather going through it. Turns out I kind of really like it. It is mushy. It's leather lined. I am used to Chanel being more structured. I'm not mad about this. 
I am really, really, really into this size specifically. I think this is the small. It has the crossbody, which I will never carry this bag this way. I will always carry it like this. But this is such a great bag. The color option also. I don't know. So the whole premise behind Coup Deluxe is that you can rent the bag for a week, two weeks. There's like flat fees. I took this bag for the week and another two bags. So let me just show you. So this is bag number one. You have to tell me what you guys think of the Chanel 19. I have not been a huge fan, but this bag might have convinced me to be a huge fan. Bag number two that I borrowed for the week. I am obsessed with this bag. I have always been a huge fan of the Saint Laurent Puffer, but in this size, a combo. Whew. So basically carrying the Bottega last week or the past two weeks has changed the game on like my mini neutral clutch obsession. I am so down with just this aesthetic. That little puffer, little tiny bag, this is all I require. Pass like a belt through it. I'm just like putting this as a belt bag. I love this bag and winter whites all day every day with my whole palette that I have going on for this winter this like this is perfect this is literally perfect I love this wait wait until I show you bag number three this week I almost bought another red bag you guys know me I keep doing this because I have an obsession with red bags I have a dress that I'm wearing this weekend and I need a red bag for it and I was going to pick up the Chanel bag from Reteich the price is amazing. The look is amazing. It's the shape of my favorite bag. I was all for it. I was, it, it was happening. Like it was literally going down in my cart. I was checking out. I was obsessed. But then I was like, Mel, stop buying red bags. I gave myself that little mental note reminder. Stop buying red bags. Rent one. I rented this bag instead. I have this for the week. I get to wear it with my outfit. It's super cute. This is the shape that I needed anyways. I didn't need a wider bag. I really needed like a night bag. I wanted there to be a gold strap that I could kind of hold on to. It basically screamed everything I needed to borrow. And I love me a good embossed Louis Vuitton bag. So when you see me out this weekend with a red bag, don't worry, she rented. I didn't buy her. If you follow me on Instagram, you're probably fed up of seeing me with this turtleneck. I've been wearing this far too much. It's actually embarrassing. It is by Camila Coelho. It's her collection with Revolve. And I've been wearing this far too much. Uh, there are way too many Instagram pictures and reels and stories of me wearing this sweater because it is my number one purchase of the season. Wait, there's also another one that is a number one purchase of the season. This one over here, this one is by Jackie. This is a size small, it's oversized. You guys have probably seen me wear this long, just like styled with loose jeans, but I also tuck it into my bra. This one is more cropped, but with high-waisted jeans, nothing really shows. I mean, you'll see in the videos. This one is in extra small, and this one is in small. I wanted this to fit more oversized and this to be more fitted. Although, to be honest, this is quite oversized for a crop top, but my two favorite knits, wait, there's another one. Wait, let me get another one because I have my three favorite knits. These two are my two favorite neutrals. Oh, and this one. There's also this one that I've worn a lot. I haven't actually photographed this yet. It's called, it's by Lovers and Friends. I got this too big. This is small. I should have gone extra small. I love the color on this knit. I just love it with like lighter blue jeans. It's a really, really, really soft gauge knit as well, which I really love. It has a drop shoulder. It's really cut oversized, which I really like, but I would have gone a size under because it's that oversized. And I have to talk about this. Oh my God, I almost forgot to talk about this. This pullover by L'Académie is probably the nicest piece I've ever bought. It's like a quilted baby blue. I know that it kind of pulls as like denim, but it's not. It's just like a cotton twill quilted oh my god it looks so good i wore it last week with a pair of frame jeans that i got Ooh, those frame jeans in the same look video insane i have to find them and link them down below i got them from a store in montreal called 4110 and they are very very good but this pullover she's good last two things i have to share two pairs of jeans that i have been loving i love jeans so i've tried them all for you these are by pistola they're a bow-legged jean. 
they have like the trouser pocket. I love that they have the rose gold rivets. They also have the carpenter like thingy here and the oversized pocket over here. They are so flattering. I got these in a size 25 and they just fit really well and low slung. I am very petite, but I'm curvy, so jeans tend to be a little bit challenging on me just because I have a smaller waist, but I'm thick. Like my hips and booty, like they're, they're there. And I know a lot of girls have the same shape as me, so I figure it's worth mentioning. The last pair I'm gonna mention are these baggy jeans by Icon Denim. These are also a size 25 and they are so cool. They have that Mezzo Margiela cut on the side. I thought I was over the Margiela cut. I am not over the Margiela cut. It makes the pant look so good. It's, they're like, honestly, I need to wear them with like a solid four inch heel so I don't have to hem them, but I don't mind because they're so baggy. You really want that like sexier top on top and a high heel, I feel like, to go with it. My Prada Combat boots could also look very, very, very cool with these. I just, I love everything about them. The only thing that kind of annoys me a little bit is this here. I kind of wish this was that light denim as well. I might actually just like bleach them myself because aside from that, these are like built to be the nicest jeans. So you know what I noticed filming this video? I need to do hauls more often because they're so fun to do and I end up buying a lot of stuff and I realize I'm not showing anybody as they're coming in anymore but what worked out with this video is I think most of these things are on sale now and I got them full price. So plus side of holding off on my haul a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not. And I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.